Okay, welcome everyone. This is Tony Francis, and this is in the prophet's shoes class and uh, mastering the prophetic. And we will be uh, actually encountering the spirit of authority. <laughs> I can't wait. It will be awesome. And, uh, you know, again, I didn't initiate the Zoom. Two weeks ago, I was watching a conference, uh, minding my, my, my own business. And, and I heard this preacher saying, thus say the Lord. And when I heard her say that, immediately I was in, with an, in, an, in an encounter with God and he downloaded everything almost to me. And I knew that, wow, I, I, we have to do this. Like the Holy Spirit wanted me to do that. So just by hearing that word, that anointed word, I stepped into something I need to do. So it was like uh, strange. But uh, I, I, I learn how to follow uh, the Holy Spirit, uh, even when it's faint. So uh, I know it is God's will for tonight for us. And uh, I believe God is um, sending you. It is a divine appointment. He is marking you. And uh, you're not here by coincidence. It's not just another Zoom call. It is, it is, um, uh, it is important in your destiny book what we are going to do uh, tonight. It will, it will alter your destiny. Uh, this is what I believe. And so uh, basically, I know maybe the uh, class title is weird in the prophet's shoes. I don't think you've ever <laughs> attended a class titled like that. It was for me like strange, okay? But you will, you will, uh, you will understand why I titled this uh, in the prophet's shoes. And uh, so basically I'll start sharing some insights about what is the real key to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit, okay? And I will share, I will share those insights given to me by the Spirit. And uh, then we will uh, talk about ways God speak to us. And this part will be interactive. We will discuss that and I'll ask you, you, you will raise your hand, you will tell me like, I hear him by vision, I hear him in dreams. So we will be sharing um, uh, how he speaks to us. And uh, then we will do the activations. We have uh, many activations and some of them are wild. And, uh, but I know you are free in the spirit and you love the creative. Uh, part of God and uh, so it, it will be awesome and, and uh, so much fun but, and powerful at the same time. So uh, first I will talk about authority, okay, and hearing the word of God. Okay, so actually when, when uh, I was thinking about it, like how do we hear the voice of God? For me, by the way, those revelations were new to me. Okay, when I did the study and prepared for this class. So before that, <laughs> and I believe many used to think like this, I, I believed like, okay, um, I, I hear the Holy Spirit just by waiting on him and I hear something or see something and release it. And this is part, okay? It's not the cornerstone though, okay? And now you will see that stillness and waiting on him is not the, the kickstart of hearing him, okay? So now you will know the real deal and this key, this revelation, once it's revealed to you, it will not be taken from you by the, by the enemy, okay? And I love it when the Lord reveals to us uh, the roots of things, the root of things, you know, because we want to build our houses on the rock, not on the sand. And to build your house on the rock, you need the roots, okay? So the roots in the prophetic is what I'm going to be sharing with you, what's given to me, okay? Are you excited already? Okay, so let's, uh, do, uh, don't open, you can, uh, you can listen to me. Uh, what I'm going to share. So 
I told you, waiting on the Lord is not the cornerstone of, for hearing God. Actually, it is authority. Authority precedes the prophetic word. How come, Tony, authority precedes the prophetic word, our hearing from, from the Holy Spirit? I'll show you some verses. You can open it, but you can listen to me. So in Isaiah chapter 6, this famous uh, verse that we know, it says in uh, Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8, it says, Also, I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Okay, this is uh, uh, Isaiah speaking. So he heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? Okay, listen carefully. Whom shall I send? The Lord, the Trinity is saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then I said, Isaiah, he replied, Here I am. Or here, here am I, send me. Okay, so imagine this scenario. Prophet Isaiah was in the presence of God, the Trinity. And I'm, I'm sure that Trinity <laughs> knows that Isaiah is a prophet, right? So they didn't say, uh, they didn't say, hey, prof prophet, down, down there, we have a word that we want you to deliver for, for my people. So they, God's, the Trinity, they didn't focus on the prophetic word as a priority. They were focusing on whom shall we send? They were, they, they were focusing on authority. Who are we going to give authority to go? first okay and verse 9 it says and he said when when isaiah replied here i am send me then he said in verse 9 go and tell this people and he gave him the prophetic word keep on hearing but do not understand keep on seeing but do not perceive so first god is establishing the sending okay the commissioning the authority part Okay, God was not um, quick to give the prophetic word first, okay? It was not his priority. It was not his order. He wants to establish authority and the sending and the commissioning, okay? Then he gave Isaiah, of course, the prophetic word, what to say to the people. But first, he wanted Isaiah to, to um, or he wanted, God wanted the spirit man of Isaiah to, Awaken to authority, like, wow, Yahweh is sending me. And, you know, this is by itself ecstatic before releasing the prophetic word. Like, by itself, like, wow, God Almighty, the King of the universe, is sending me to say something on his behalf. Okay, this is authority. If this is not authority, I don't know what it is. So that by, by itself should excite us as prophetic people, okay? It should excite us or ministers for the Lord. Like, wow, I'm giving authority. God is sending me. God is mar marking me to go. So when authority came first, God released the prophetic word second. Another example, and it will get clearer to you as we build this up. In Jeremiah chapter 1, Verse 4, let's read this. Then the word of the Lord came to me saying, and we will be speaking about uh, in section 2 uh, about this, because we hear prophets saying, then the word of the Lord came to me. Okay, so we hear them a, a lot saying this. We will, we will talk about the ways of, um, of God talking to us, the ways of uh, him speaking. Okay. So then the word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you, so now God is talking to Jeremiah, before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. Come on. <laughs> That's amazing. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Okay. And uh, this is the commissioning here. This is the commissioning. I ordained you. I had you on my mind that I will be sending you, okay? In verse six, uh, it, it continues by saying, then said I, which is Jeremiah, ah, Lord God, 
Behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. So we see Jeremiah that he is so focused about, I don't have a prophetic word, <laughs> you know? Like, give me a prophetic word. And, and God Almighty first is, is amazing him by the fact, hey, I chose you. I, I gave you authority. I ordained you. I will send you. I will send you. That by itself, it should put Jeremiah in awe. And, and before, just forget the prophetic word, Jeremiah. God is choosing you. God is choosing me. He ordained me. I have the authority of the Most High to go. That by itself, it should put Jeremiah in celebration. But Jeremiah, he didn't, he didn't like say, oh, thank you for choosing me. That's amazing. What a privilege. He didn't say that. <laughs> he jumped immediately. I don't have a prophetic word. Give me a prophetic word. He said that in verse 6. And, and verse 7, it says, but the Lord said to me, do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Again, God uh, shifted the focus of Jeremiah on the sending part, okay, before the prophetic word. He's teaching our spirit man the authority before the ministry, before, before delivering the word or whatever it is. Now we're focusing, we're focusing on the prophetic, but whatever it is. So the Lord in verse 7, he's telling Jeremiah, you shall go to all to whom I send you, the sending part. And whatever I command you, you shall speak. Okay, there is a, there is a part where you will go speak, speaking. Of course, I'm sending you for that. But first, I, I will send you. This is authority. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you. Verse 9, then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said to me, behold, I have put my words in your mouth. And you know, God, uh, he is a God of order, of divine order. He didn't like uh, let go and didn't answer Jeremiah's uh, need to grow in the prophetic and to, to, to receive something to give. So uh, at the end, uh, God touched his mouth and he put words and he gave him the prophetic word, you know, but first prophetic authority came, then the prophetic word. And this is the divine order, prophetic authority. God is sending me. And yes, I will be saying something. And by the way, in the New Testament, Jesus told them that when you will be in persecution and you will be, uh, don't focus on what to say, the words, because the spirit of your father will be speaking through you. So we see, we see the Lord here not, not so entangled with, oh, what am I going to say or to preach or to teach? And those are important. But the trust is of Jesus, like at that moment, the spirit of my father will flow. He will speak. Jesus was so focused on prophetic authority. I am sent. I am sent by God. And as, as he sent me, I'm sending you. So prophetic authority, guys, precedes the prophetic words. And maybe you're hearing this for the first time. Maybe you know it, but you didn't analyze that as, as, as I did, you know. Like for me, yes, I'm seeing this afresh. And so you need to know this and you will know why later. You need to know that before you rush and, and, and frustrate yourself, like I want the prophetic word, first focus on the prophetic authority. I'm sent. And of course, God will not leave me there. He will give me something to release. But first, let this experience of prophetic authority and I'm sent by God Almighty take over you and possess you and the prophetic words or ministry or whatever whatever it is it will flow eventually it will flow and I'll teach you some more it will be more clearer as we proceed so now we will read another verse in Luke 9 and it's amazing and it says that the title is Jesus sending out the 12 
<laughs> sending again. It's a sending. Okay, then he called his 12 disciples to him um, and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. This is Luke 9, verse 9. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. And he said to them, take nothing for the journey, neither staffs, nor bag, nor bread, nor money, and do not have two tunics apiece. Whatever house you enter, stay there and from there depart. And whoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake off the very dust from your feet as a testimony against them. So they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. So here we see in, in Luke 9, verse 9, that the Lord sent, uh, sorry, before sending his disciples, he brought them to him and gave them, <coughs> sorry, power and authority. Okay? He gave them power and authority first to heal, to preach. But the first encounter, the first encounter is authority. At that moment, at that moment, when the disciples were around the Lord, they didn't experience any healing because they were not already being sent to heal anyone, they, they are with God. So they didn't experience the healing, nor the deliverance, nor the preaching, nothing. The first encounter, they received power and, and authority. Can you see it? The first encounter before being sent, if you, uh, if you want to be successful in your ministry for the Lord, this is, this is what I'm teaching you. This is what you need in every ministry. The first encounter you must have is, prof is prophetic authority or authority in general. But now we're speaking about the prophetic, okay? So he gave them power and authority. Then he sent them, okay? God was not focusing much on the healing, the words of knowledge, the prophetic, because he will be there with them, okay? The encounter is the prophetic authority. This, this is the divine order, okay? I pray that your understanding will be enlightened in Jesus' name and that it will click. John chapter 3, verse 34. And this is awesome. For he, and this is Jesus speaking, for he whom God has sent, sent, speaks the word of God. I'll say it again. For he whom God has sent, speaks the word of God, said ascending first, the authority. For God does not give the spirit by measure. Here it is, it's com com comforting us, you know, it's comforting us. Like, we will speak something, guys, you will speak something, you will speak something, because God doesn't, it says, um, uh, he doesn't give the spirit by measure. But first, it's the sending. So you will not fall short or you will not lack what to release. You will not lack. But God is focusing on the sending. Okay? So for he whom God has sent speaks the word of God. For God does not give the spirit by measure. The father loves the son. And it's all based on his love for us. Okay? Not that we are qualified. He will qualify us. But the basis is his love. The father loves the son and has given all things into his hand. And this is you as well. This is you and me, God's sons and daughters. The father loves us and he gave us authority over everything into his hands. Okay, listen to this. And uh, okay, so... I, I wrote here in my notes, <laughs> many will be saying here or, or on the replay, but what if I was sent without a word? Okay, I, I already told you, God does not give the spirit by measure. Okay, you will not fall short on prophetic words. I promise you, God promises you, not me. Okay, I'll ask you something. Was Jesus short on words of authority and prophetic words? Never. Okay, 
He is the bread of life. Jesus is the bread of life. He feeds people spiritually, okay? How can the storehouse of God be short on bread when Jesus is the bread of life? I'll let this sink for those who resist the prophetic. <laughs> okay, I'll say it again. How can the storehouse of God be short on bread when Jesus is the bread of life? Impossible. And let me, let me escalate this revelation. John 1 said that Jesus is the word of God. Word of God. You cannot go to the word and ask him for a word and he tell you, sorry, I don't have one. You will, you, will say, you will say to him, what? And your name is the word? <laughs> you don't have a word? Okay. You will not fall short on prophetic words. Okay. Now, before I prove this to you, because I know you need a verse and a chapter to prove this, like, because many will be saying like, Okay, Tony, I'm convinced somehow till this point, but sometimes I didn't receive anything from the Lord. And, uh, and so don't be frustrated. I will explain more about that. Okay, this is next in Psalm chapter one, 139. But first, uh, I want you to see how people experience authority or have experienced authority in Jesus' teachings as a priority, okay? And not just they were amazed by the prophetic words he delivered. They were amazed by what he taught. But listen to Matthew chapter 7, verse 28, okay? Matthew 7, verse 28. And so it was when Jesus had ended these sayings that the people were astonished at his teaching. Why? Verse 29. For he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Okay, so those attendees, they were marveled by the teaching of Jesus, but not just because of the content itself. It says here, but because he was a man of authority, for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes it is like that always or you move with authority or you are a scribe it is something religious that will not bring life to the people this is it this verse summarizes it or you are a person of authority and you will amaze others by the glory of the lord that you carry all it will be like the scribes and and both are amazing <laughs> i'll tell you why because the attendees were amazed by the authority of jesus but also they were amazed by the by the religious boredom of the scribes it's both sort of it captures it you know but i prefer being amazed by authority and the real deal and the life giving presence of god than being religious and having the form okay of godliness and the show off of religious and religion and and the meetings so so that's it i will i will read this verse again and please see the difference between authority and religion okay so and so it's matthew 7 verse uh, 28 and so it was when jesus had ended these sayings that the people were astonished at at his teaching for he taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes, okay? Here it is, authority, before the content. Or you are a person of authority or you are religious. And this will not bless the people at all. Okay, now I will answer your, um, uh, your question about do I always get prophetic words from the Lord, Tony? Yes. This is 
uh, the standard. This is the standard. But uh, in some um, cases, God will remain silent for some reasons. But the, the, the majority, sorry, the natural uh, approach is you will receive because he taught us ask and you shall receive. Okay, and remember, he is the bread of life, and he will always give you a word, because we are to um, feed the poor in the spirit. How can he expect us to feed others, the poor in the spirit, if he cannot give us laws of revelations and insights and whatever? So, yes, this is the standard. Yes, you will get it. You will get words. But I told you, and I've experienced some, many cases, but so rare and I can count them on my my hand you know where I didn't hear from the Lord for I don't know one day I'll I'll know about it in heaven okay he'll tell me at that moment Tony I wanted to whatever I don't know but this is exceptional this is not the the uh, what what what's the word the standard or um rule it's the exception to the rule. Yes, that's it. Yeah. I exception, not the rule. Yeah. Yes, yes. So, so I want you to always focus on this positive um, approach because many approach God as um, in a negative way, like I will not get a word, <laughs> you know? And this is wrong because the, 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 the natural um Approach is God will give you a word, okay? So expect, it, it defies his nature if he doesn't give you, or he will not be the word, or he, he will not be the bread. And you have all the rights to, to say, okay, I'm not going to minister to anyone. I will not feed the poor in the spirit. You're not giving me anything. And it's... It's such, it is such a struggle, Lord, every time I want something, it's so hard, and you're resisting me, you're sending me, but you're fighting me. No, God is for you, okay? He's waiting to glorify the Lord. He wants to re release you and through you uh, whatever he wants to, to do with others, okay? So this is the approach, okay? In some cases, he will be silent, but this is not the rule okay now i will read to you this one verse in psalm chapter 139 that verse guys uh changed my life and released me in the prophetic years and years ago i will not because i had this question before when i it's more than 18 years i i guess when i started in the prophetic I heard many religious people, and maybe they were sincere at that time, doesn't need to be religious, but this is the level of light and revelation they had. But I heard that from many that, come on, Tony, you give much, okay? You always have a word and all that. I don't think God is like that. I think, and they told me, I think God's word is so precious and he speaks from, you know, for big events or something you really need to hear for, you know, and and you're like entering the throne, getting words, leaving, and it's so available to you. We don't think this is right. We, we don't believe that God uh, give you generously <laughs> those words. It's not, we don't, be, we don't see God as you see him. And I thank God that I didn't see God as they saw him. Because if I saw God like they see him, or they saw him, I don't know if they're still seeing him the same, uh, this would have hindered me. And maybe, maybe I would not abort the prophetic, but maybe once a while I would be prophesying, okay, in a certain event or, you know, whatever, when I really feel so strong. But now I can always proph prophesy. Really, I can always get a word from the Lord. Not now, 18 years ago, when I started 
in the prophetic. I encountered the truth and thank God that he told me this verse when I started because it shifted my uh, my belief, okay? And I, I, I cannot believe something else because God already told me that in this verse, okay? And I know that he, he, he always speaks. He is the word. <laughs> He's the talking God. He's someone who wants to be in, in, in a relationship with others and to be in, in a relationship with others, you need to speak. So Psalm 139 verse 17, please write it down. I mean, the reference, it says, David saying, I think David or someone else, but anyway, the psalmist was saying, how precious also are your thoughts to me, O God. Okay, so he's speaking to the Lord. He is telling him, Lord, thank you. How precious are your thoughts to me, O God. Then he said, how great is the sum of them. How great is the sum of them. Verse 18, if I should count them, they would be more in number than the sand. They would be, which, which is the thoughts of God. The thoughts of God would be more in number than the sand. Have you ever been on, on the sand in a beach and just taking a, a handful of sand, you cannot count it. You will be overwhelmed by the numbers. So imagine that the thoughts of God are like the sands, the sand. The thoughts of God are like the sand on a beach. This is bounty. God's thoughts toward that psalmist are so rich that the sum of it are like the sand, the number of the sand in a beach. Okay, so when I, when I read that years ago, I told others, I read this verse, it says to me that God's thoughts toward me and others are, are so rich, like we cannot, we cannot number them. So if I, as Tony, started prophesying 20 years ago, till the very last moment in my life and prophesy day and night, an hour after an hour, without doing anything else, just 24 hours prophecies, all my life, I would not be, I would not, uh, uh, I would not have scratched the surface. And I will die with so much more still missed, missing of the thoughts of God. So imagine what weight this puts on you. Like you can release the, the, the thoughts of God, which are for your family, for your neighbor, for your nations. You can release them and he still have more. He still can say more. His thoughts are, are like the sand. He will not fall short on a prophetic word. And he will always speak if you ask him. He's so generous. So we, we would not have scratched the surface, the surface, you know? If you prophesied all the days of your life, we will die missing a lot. This is... If you are active so much in the prophetic, still you will die missing a lot. So how much if you're not or, or, or a little? I mean, you will, you will be amazed. You will be shocked in heaven. Like, what? I thought that I'm so active in the prophetic. And you will see like, oh my, I missed so much. So be active. <laughs> okay. And that verse changed my life years ago. And thank God that I, I saw this truth, this revelation, that those other brothers and sisters convinced me to be like them. 
I don't prophesy it only that much. Or okay, we believe in the prophetic, but once in a while. Because God's, God's words are so precious. And they are precious. And because they are precious, they are like a mine to me. And I'm a mine digger. And I will not, I will not go, uh, I will not let go of this. If, if God's word is precious as a gem, why not going inside by the spirit of the Lord and extract these precious thoughts and words and emotions toward the world, you know? <laughs> so go ahead and extract it's, it's in him. And the spirit of God uh, searches the deep things of God, okay? He will take you there. And you will, you will be in God. And it will be like, wow, as a mine, gems, like for my neighbor, for my mom, for my friend. Oh, wow, the section is for my city, my nation. Oh, I can download this. I can release those words and those thoughts and go in God, okay, as God is in you. Okay, so God's word is, is indeed precious. Okay, but I understand what they were saying to me, like, oh, God's word is so precious, like um, the bounty of your, your flow, Tony, makes it cheap. Like, okay, you can get a word anytime. I don't think, no, God is that person who cannot approach every moment and get a word from him. I understand how they were thinking, you know, like the abundance of, of something for them made, made them feel like, oh, it's cheap. Okay, I understand how they were thinking, but I don't see the Lord this way, okay? Actually, the word of God says, says, taste and see the Lord is good. So you want to give experience to others more so they can see, so they can get the revelation. Wow, Yeshua is amazing. He told you to tell me this? That's amazing. He told you to give me this prophetic thing or prophetically give me this amount of money. Wow. So how, how can you give others the, the potential to see the Lord if you don't let them or if you don't invite them for a taste? Taste and see the Lord is good. Actually, it makes the Lord more precious when you show him, when you manifest him. People will go for him even more. Okay, so now that we established in this section uh, that authority precedes the word of God, the prophetic word, the prophetic authority is first. You need to know that you are sent. Okay, you are sent. And I will tell you something. Okay, you may be asking me, Tony, can you give us like practical way? How can we understand this prophetic authority? What does it mean? I'll tell you. I'll tell you what does it mean for me. In Ephesians chapter 6, it speaks about the shoes of, good, of the gospel, the shoes of readiness, the shoes of the peace of the gospel. So every time, every time you want to release the gospel, not just anything, those are the shoes of the gospel, the words of God, the good news the things that are in heaven, okay? Not just anything. God will always back up his commission first. He will not back, he will not back up necessarily uh, your agenda, okay? He will always back up his commission. If he doesn't, he's not faith, faithful to his word, okay? So the shoes of the gospel speaks of readiness. So to, as for me, as for Tony, Every time I want to say a good news for someone, like to give them a prophetic word, my, my spirit is ready. I'm always ready. This shoes of readiness or the good news is the sending part. Like I'm always have, I always have my shoes on, uh, so to speak, prophetically or in the spirit. Like when God tells me to give a word, I'm always ready for this. Okay, I'm always on the sending. I'm always ready to be sent. Okay, so when you are always in this state, like I am ready to give something to others. I'm ready to release the good news, the gospel. The word of God will flow or whatever other ministry you are called to do at that moment. This is the shoes of readiness. You are ready to be sent. God wants people to be available. 
I mean his sons and daughters. He just wants your shoes. Just want they, you know, you cannot say no to the Lord. He is not Lord if you say to him no. The yes must always be there. There is no there is no yes and no in front of a Lord or in front of CEO that speak in the natural. I would never dare tell my CEO <laughs> no to a project he's asking from me. Impossible. Maybe I will tell him uh, I have challenges. I need like an, I need more support or a team to help me. But a no, it doesn't work with lords. It doesn't work. So always have the yes in you and you will be ready to flow. That's why I receive all my day, every day in my life, nudges, promptings, uh, vision. Like now say this, now do that. Now, because my spirit man is always, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I, I have many things that are still closed maybe to the, to the Lord and he's working on it. Okay, but... All those years, I developed a, a yes, and especially in the prophetic. That's why I flow so much in this, okay? So this is the prophetic authority, that I'm always ready. I'm always under the yes of the Lord. This is my prophetic authority. And then because I am like this, I hear the Spirit. So can you can you see the difference? The prophetic authority first, and and then the word uh, of God or and other ministries. Okay, and maybe if if you want later, I can uh, copy paste to you my notes and those verses if you want to ponder on them uh, to see the clearly the difference between the sending first and then the release of the spirit of God, okay? So now uh, that section is over, okay? And all this class tonight is based on the invite of Holy Spirit for you and on the replay to experience the prophetic authority. It's not a class to teach you how to hear God because I know it will come. Okay, he will train you, he will season you, but I want your spirit man to taste of prophetic authority, and we will de we will be activating you in that. Okay, but now in section two, uh, we will speak about uh, ways God speaks. Uh, we hear prophets saying, and the word of the Lord came to me. Okay, we hear them saying this a lot. Okay, but how? Okay, you always say the, the word of God came to you. Tell us how, okay? <laughs> because when we know the ways, we will be discerning them, okay? So it's important to know the ways. So this is, but this is not priority. This is section two. This is divine order. First, be established in the sending, in the authority, in the, the yes in you, and, not, and then invest in yourself. Learn the ways God speaks, okay? Uh, do the trainings, read the books, read the Bible, whatever, practice with people, join our Zooms and WhatsApp, whatever we can provide for you. Okay, so yes, grow in the prophetic. Be seasoned in it. But this is not the divine order. Don't rush to go for the prophetic word. Okay, so like for Habakkuk chapter two, for, for that prophet, he, 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 climb the tower and he was expecting to see i want to see what the lord will tell me about my people okay Samuel, uh, chapter three he was hearing god's voice uh, through uh, his mentor uh, eli okay and so now we will open it to uh, discussions okay and uh, we'll see how holy spirit will um uh, 
I will have some teachings to, to mention when I hear your answer, okay? But it will not be a class where I'm teaching you about the ways you can hear God. I will not teach about the visions, the dreams, and all that, okay? This is not the what the Holy Spirit wants to do tonight. So uh, the ways God speaks. And when you have an answer, please raise your hand, your digital hand, and even you can raise your natural hand i can see you for those who are on the on video uh, i'll start with me like most of the time i hear god uh, is uh, through actually but i don't want to say two answers because uh, because i want to give to give you the the, uh, the opportunity to say that uh, most of it is um, the peace of god okay this is how it starts the peace of God. Uh, this is how I discern I'm hearing from him. The peace of the Lord. Okay. Uh, and when I want to give a word for others, uh, I, I see a lot. Okay. I see a lot. Okay. Visions. Uh, so mainly this is, this is in a nutshell. So how do you hear God? How he deals with you? Okay, please keep the answer short, but tell us the expression God uses with you, how you hear Holy Spirit. How did you develop hearing his voice? What's the most common way? Most common for me up to now, I would say would be dreams. Okay. In a lot of dreams about the future or something specific. So that would be number one in me. Okay, so dreams, you can. Okay, thank you, Kuizi. <laughs> He's taking notes. He's writing in the chat. Dreams, okay, great. Christine? Um, it used to be dreams for me, but right now, like somehow I'm struggling to remember them for quite some time now. But it used to be very clear, vivid dreams. And also just having a knower in my heart that's accompanied with peace. Just knowing, you know, what he's saying in a situation. Okay. The knowing. Mm -hmm. It's a supernatural knowing, of course. Mm -hmm. Okay. So dreams, uh, the peace of God and seeing, slash seeing, dreams, second, the knowing, the supernatural knowing, if you are taking notes. What else? If you can even uh, say the same thing as a confirmation, like, yeah, I hear this. This is the common way. Okay, so uh, Amanda, please. Um, I often hear uh, him speak. I will usually see it. And then I will also like hear a word or phrases that are like dropped in my spirit. Okay. And it can kind of be like a combination when I say I'm hearing and seeing it kind of rolls into one, which is really neat. And it just creates a picture. Um, so that's pretty common for me. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Crystal. Hi, everyone. Um, I dream every night. And when I'm awake, I would hear him speaking in me. It, the hearing is much more frequent than um than I see. Not that I don't see, but yeah, that's what's most common to me. Okay. Okay. So dreams are uh, a form of seeing, of course, but it is different. It's the, the vision of the night, it says. Okay. Who else? Crystal, another question or your, your hand is still raised? Sorry. No problem. So it, it looks like all here are between all these, the dreams, the, the peace, um, the seer anointing, the seeing, the supernatural knowing. Who else wants to add? Christine? I forgot to say songs. He gives me songs a lot. Sometimes I can be going through a situation and I get a verse of a song and it's so strong and anointed as I sing it, I receive faith, you know, and grace for the situation. 
Oh, wow. Uh, so they are worship, worship songs or secular? It could be both, right? It can be both. Just a verse that has, I listen to the lyrics and that's how I know this is what the Lord is saying to me. Okay. And at the moment it ministers to your spirit. Oh, wow. Hearing the song in my head, in my head. Wow. It, it feeds me the, as the bread. This is how you feel that you're hearing from the Lord. It feeds you because he's the bread of life. <laughs> you know, it's like satisfying. Sorry, Gina. Yeah, I, I've had that same thing like Christine, but it's been like prophetic. Like he'll give me a, wake i wake up with a, a hymn in my heart and i i'm not an american so a lot of the hymns are in english and i don't necessarily know the words but i know the melody so then i go and look for the words and see what the words have to say and then um i remember one time i was go gonna go through a, a, a the valley of death and you know he he specifically gave me that so, the song but it was the psalm 23 is specifically that area and so yeah it, it ministers and it's like it keeps going i don't know if that's with you too christine that it, it's like a season where that song or that hymn just seems to be like mm -hmm. constant it's not just one time but it's like oh it can be months or weeks where you just seem to the lord brings you back to that hymn it's like a prayer yeah, like a prayer. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And of course, uh, the word of God, we didn't mention it because it is no brainer, right? <laughs> and uh, if you hear the voice of God without having a strong uh, relationship with the Bible, um, you, don't, you will not have a plumb line to discern it, if it is from the Lord or not, because God's word is the plumb line. Okay, and uh, so when you hear any spirit talking to you, whether a dream, through a dream or a seeing or a knowing or a feeling, sometimes you feel like something. So if, if, if the word of God doesn't back up um, what you're encountering, we are in danger. Okay, uh, this is the word of God is what purify our experience so we only release truth and know truth and experience truth so if you want to soar in the prophetic uh, you need to have a strong unreligious uh, experience daily experience with the word of god with knowing the mind of god and not just uh, a little bit here and there but the whole counsel of the mind of the mind of god in the bible okay because you know guys Many doctrines were uh, created out of uh, parts, not the full counsel of the word of God. Some saw like, okay, this is, this is it. But they didn't study the other counsel of God and all the facets of God and back it up. And they ended in a Christian occult, you know? And uh, so knowing in part, not the prophetic, okay, knowing in part about God uh, is dangerous. We need to know the full counsel of God. So for, for example, uh, if I feel like suddenly I'm, I'm angry about a friend I'm seeing, okay, and, and I want to attribute this as, oh, it's a prophetic feeling, I'm angry, okay, about this person, and and, and I hear like curses inside in my heart for him. And I would attribute this, hey, this is a prophetic feeling because I think this is God because I was not feeling this about this friend, but suddenly I felt, you know, angry about him. So, uh, but does the words say that, you know, is God is angry about this person? So you, you need to know the word of God and the nature of God, okay? And let's say let's say god is angry okay about someone and i don't i don't think god is angry he's angry at, at, um, at wickedness and unrighteousness but he uh, his will is to save everyone he, he loves everyone okay he loves everyone he loves everyone he loves everyone <laughs> okay i'm repeating this for a reason he loves everyone like you're not an exception you're not an exception like to encounter feelings different and say oh i'm i'm different 
I receive the, the, the just the judgment part of God. Be, be aware. Know the word of God, know his nature, or you will err. You will err in the prophetic. Okay? So the Bible is important. Very important. Okay? Who else do you want to add uh, another expression? Yes, smiles. God loves his enemies. So who else do, do you feel like uh, you need to ask to add ways Holy Spirit speak to you? And if it's not like from your own personal experience, maybe an insight is coming to you from the Bible, right? You can share it. haven't mentioned the audible voice of god yet yes have you have you uh, heard god audibly gina before but sometimes it's so loud in my mind that i wonder you know uh but i don't know that i have actually experienced uh but i have heard his voice very loudly to where he's like i i know he's speaking to me like not just uh, an impression but like speaking yeah yeah but it was an audible like now like now you listening to me it is audible i don't think i've ever experienced that i'm sure you you didn't because if you did you will not forget you, you will know. <laughs> yeah. yes you will know because i had that okay amanda um it, um, he speaks to me in the natural at, at times, um, just for a quick example, the other day I was sitting and I, and I heard a train whistle in the background, in the distance, and then my spirit just stirred and, and I heard him say, what do you hear? And I said, I hear a train whistle. And then I heard him say full steam ahead. And then he just launched into telling me something. And I was like, oh, and I wrote it down. So just some something from the natural um, like that, he, he speaks. I love it. I love it. And, you know, because God is practical and he's living with us as well. So sometimes we divide the natural from the supernatural. And actually, God wants to encounter us in the things we do every day almost you know so this is a good point amanda so be aware when this natural god puts on the supernatural over it okay and now it's an encounter now it's, now it's a word like for for example for moses uh, he was in the wilderness uh, uh, taking care of the sheep and all that for years and he saw many burning bushes many because in, in, the, in the desert, bushes are, are quick to burn, you know? And so he saw that scene many times. But that one day, that natural scene for Moses became supernatural. And God visited Moses from a natural thing Moses did every day, seeing bushes around him, okay, burning. It was not, it was not strange for Moses to see that. But it got his spirit like, what? I've seen bushes burning every day. That's not, that's not natural, okay? So, and I told uh, someone one day, like maybe Amanda, I told her like, what if Moses didn't discern the supernatural in the natural happening that day? And he skipped it. He would have missed a destiny and being sent as a deliverer and the big thing that we are celebrating till this very day, just because someone discerned the supernatural on the natural, okay? So be aware in your natural, uh, everyday, mundane, when God will put the supernatural over it and it will become a life-changing encounter, really. So that's a good point. And it makes living with God so practical and beautiful because yeah, every day Jesus is with us and it, it creates expectation in us like, okay, now what? <laughs> Where are you going to show, to show up, Lord? So he lives with us, okay? We are his habitation. 
So of course he will highlight some stuff in the natural for us. And that's a good point. And others are uh, writing in the chat, many beautiful things. Diane is saying, Diana is saying through people. Yes, of course, through numbers and, uh, and verses up there from miles. So, uh, you know, and um, it's, it's, it's so beautiful. I mean, all the expressions of, of God speaking to us, but you know, it's all about a relationship. It's all about a relationship. So yes, we need to discern and learn the ways God speak to us, but never idolize the ways. Just thank him because his heart is after a relationship with you and others. That's why he speaks in creative forms. And sometimes he uh, break what you are um, uh, used to, okay? Because now it's like your comfort zone. It's like like an idol for you this way lord speak to me in this way okay this way i for years you talk to me this way now keep doing this keep doing this and you know you cannot put this on someone in a natural relationship <clears throat> it will be so weighty and heavy and it will push that person back you know imagine if i'm sitting with someone in um okay um, i don't know let's say a date okay and i'm telling her please sit this way or or say it this in this manner your your thought imagine if i if i'm controlling how someone wants to be with me you know and this is what we do with god like we we put him in a in a box and do it this way with me no let's give the god of freedom his freedom <laughs> let's release him tonight okay it's about a relationship, okay? This is what we celebrate. And yes, we learn the ways, all the ways so we can discern them, but it's about the relationship and this is what matters, okay? Uh, okay, anyone else wants to add? To... Yeah, okay. Uh, emotions, for example, not just the spiritual emotions, the natural emotions, because emotions are not bad. <laughs> God created our emotions and he will sanctify our emotions. But listen also to your emotions, okay? I'm not saying that all your emotions encountered are from the Lord, but many will be, okay? So uh, God will use the way he created you to, to reveal himself and to speak to you. Okay, so your emotions, your skills, your passion, okay? You have a passion for something and it's not going. And according to the word of God, it's not a crime. It's not a, a, a drug or something that is, is, you know, deadly. So it is in the border of holiness and you feel like I want to do it and I bring about it and still have the passion. Like I want to go for it. So your passion speaks much okay um, so it's a this is not a, a non-exhaustive list really the ways are uh, numerous um, just focus on him that he wants to be in a relationship with you and he will he will reveal himself to you okay okay great so i will wrap this section section two now and now we will be jumping to our uh, activations um, Okay, this section three is called in the prophet in the prophet's shoes. Yay, we arrived to the to the title of the class. <laughs> okay, I'm sure many of you got the emails because I sent it many times uh, where I shared with you, <coughs> sorry, where I shared with you a list of uh, prophetic words um, for prophets in the Bible. Okay, just a second. And I also sent you a list of countries, not just some countries, but all the countries of the world. Okay, but now we will, we will do this later. But now let's focus on the words I sent you by email, the verses. Who didn't get the email about the, the verses and the list of countries? I can paste, copy paste that for you in the chat. 
and I will tell you what to do about it. Okay, Diana, you didn't, do you want to speak or you, you are saying that I didn't receive it? Um, I don't think I received it. Okay, so I'll, I'll copy paste that for you, but I'll tell you what to do. This is the real deal here. Okay, and all this class is based on this activation. That's why I'm doing this activation or this class, sorry. And I told you when I heard that speaker say, thus say the Lord, I got all the download for this activation. What you are going to do in this activation, and I will be giving you some time, not a lot. I'll put some soaking uh, music. But from the list I gave you of these prophetic words, you already have chosen one, one verse, okay? Uh, I want you to open your Bible to, you, not now, to the version you read through, if you don't like the King James Version, because I used that because it's the only place where it says, thus saith the Lord. I needed to collect those. So that's why I used King James Version. Okay, what you are going to do is this, and please focus on the activation itself. It's so important. What you are going to do is say the verse you picked in the version you are familiar with, and even I can give you a little bit of freedom here to paraphrase the verse, but not change the content, okay? But what you are going to focus on is this. Those prophetic words, guys, came from Yahweh, God Almighty, to high level prophets. And as God did to Samuel that no word Ha, uh, have fallen short because it, he is a high level prophet. Those words, those prophetic words contain two things that will unlock your spirit man now. The authority that it is a word from God that God is sending you, okay, to go say this prophetic word to this person or that group of people. And the second thing your spirit man will experience is the pure word of the Lord, the purity of the prophetic. First, the authority that it's coming from God Almighty and he is sending you, no doubt. And second, the word you are going to speak is the pure word of the Lord that your spirit man has zero doubt that it is the word of the Lord. Okay, I'm helping your spirit man here to taste of the pure authority that you are sent by Yahweh and the pure word of the Lord, like zero errors, zero errors, the pure authority and the pure word of the Lord that your spirit man will, will need to taste of this and that will unlock your your hearing and your obedience so and after five minutes almost i want you i prefer that all of you to engage because it is quick it's it is a quick thing i want you when you're done or ready to raise your hand and i want you to say the verse you picked as though you you were the prophet okay and while you say it, don't say it as you are in an English class, you're reading a, a poem or, or, or news, whatever, okay? Don't do this. It is a faith activation. You need to feel that I'm under the 100% the authority of Yahweh and that without any shadow of doubt, what I'm saying to you now is the pure word of the Lord, and that's it. Those two experiences will cleanse your spirit man and will unlock your spirit man in the prophetic. Okay, so I'll put some music now. If, if you didn't, if you have any question and didn't understand the assignment, please ask me. If it's clear to you, great. But that activation 
is from Holy Spirit. I didn't create it. I didn't search for it on the internet or any book. It came to me. And the Holy Spirit told me, as my sons and daughter do position themselves to believe that without a shadow of a doubt that this is my pure authority. And it is because you're saying a prophetic word for a high level prophet. And he was sent by God Almighty without any shadow of doubt. So it is as you do this by faith, okay, that will be unlocked in your spirit, man. Like I'm sent by Yahweh, okay? And what I'm saying is the pure word of the Lord. Those two experiences will unlock your spirit, man, in the prophetic now on. It doesn't make you a prophet. Please, I'm not saying that. It you, Your spirit, man, needs to... Uh, to encounter those realms in the prophetic so you can be unlocked in it, okay? Yes, the Holy Spirit will be with you, will train you, will, you will be seasoned in the prophetic, you will learn things, okay? Well, you will grow, so you do not be deceived like I will not err in my, in my growing in the prophetic, okay? You will have to grow as we are still as we are all as we all are still growing but this activation will will put something in us that is so powerful that will i'll tell you something god knows the end from the beginning and what he's going to do now he's doing the end from the beginning he's putting the end before the beginning you will reach this place of this activation. You will reach a place where you have the pure sending from the Lord and the pure word of the Lord without any shadow of doubt. You will be there. But now you are, you are tasting the end from the beginning. <laughs> Do you love that? <laughs> okay. So uh, I'll, I'll put the, the verses. Okay, strange, I cannot, I can't paste them. Strange, I cannot want, copy paste. Tony, do you want me to try to go in and do it and see if I can paste it, copy and paste it for you? Why, why I can't? I mean, I'm in the chat trying to paste that. What's, well, what's something different you want to do? Um, not, nothing different. Um, I was on a zoom the other day and I couldn't copy and paste either for some reason, but somebody else could. So I was just going to offer to try to, uh, to copy it from your email into the chat for you. If yeah, you if you can, or maybe, I don't know if Diana, you, you got my email. Do, do you think you have my email? Because I sent it twice. If you can check your email. Um, I I checked it and it was about tonight's. There were emails about tonight's uh, Zoom, but nothing else. But I've also just registered tonight, so maybe that's why. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. Diana, can you paste your email if you if you see uh, privately to me, and I will forward the email now to you, while I put the soaking music and others will will be on the exercise. Okay.
All right. I don't think we need much time because you already have the verse. And uh, maybe some of you converted that to a version you are uh, comfortable with to say. Maybe you paraphrased it. We will see now. And But before, before you, you activate this, I, need to, I will say it again about this activation. Your spirit man will taste of two things to, tonight. Now, the pure authority of God sending you to say something. And second, the pure word of the Lord that what you are saying, what you are releasing out of your, out of your spirit man is without an error is a pure prophetic word, okay? And this is, this is the, the deal of the activation. This is what I want you to encounter. Just raising your hand and saying the verse without allowing yourself to feel that I'm sent by God. I have the full authority of heaven. I'm being sent. I have the prophetic authority. And without feeling that what I'm saying is the pure word of God, if you don't feel that, if you don't connect your faith to this activation, your spirit man will not um, will not be uh, familiar to it. And God wants your spirit man to be familiar with that because this is what will unlock you. Okay? And I will tell you something. Uh, Usually when you go watch a concert to some famous singer, okay, you maybe watch an hour or two hours of an incredible performance of songs, of lights, of crowds, of musicians, instruments. It, it's a two amazing hours, okay? But behind that, it was very messy. It was very weird. It was very creative that you will hear that singer saying in, in, in the hidden places, stuff like, ah, 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 and you will be like, oh, that's strange. I don't want to watch this. I want the outcome, right? What we are doing now is the messy part, is the weird thing, is the creative. Outside, people will see the real deal. But now you're allowing your spirit man to cultivate real encounters from the word of God. Because the word of God is substance. And God hid for us many experiences in his word. And when, when you read Psalm 23 that God has prepared a banquet table for you, guess from where? from his word, okay? It was given to me humbly this revelation that, wow, we can get from this activation, we can suck the authority and the purity and be in this experience, even though it was for a prophet, okay? But I can be, I, I can become under it for a while, so my spirit man can learn the real or the genuine from the fake. So you're allowing now this activation to transform your life, and I'll tell you something: you are going from glory to glory because when you see the word of God, the revelation, you are transformed into this image. Okay, you will never be the same, I know. And many of you, I feel like they will be from now on a fertile ground for the prophetic. And you were praying recently, Lord, I'm stuck somewhere. I don't flow in the prophetic, but I want to help me. You prayed that. I don't know who, maybe here or, or, or on the replay. God is answering you. You will be from now on a fertile ground for the prophetic flow. Okay, you will hear so much from the Lord. You will hear so much from the Lord. Okay, awesome. Uh, okay, so anyone who is ready now, and I pray that all of you, you can do this activation. It's really quick, but 
you need to uh, release it by faith and uh, keep in mind what I told you or th the experience will not benefit you, okay? Uh, before, before I take Queasy, he's ready now. Uh, I, I learned that even if you want to activate your seer anointing, you can go to the word of God and check where the prophets had seer encounters. Like for example, Ezekiel chapter one, it's, it is a visionary encounter where he saw the, the Lord high on, on his throne and he saw the, the angels, the cherubs and all that. And it was a crazy imagination. So if you want to grow in the seer anointing, you can go to the word of God and read that, but now not in a reading mode, but as you are encountering this for yourself, okay? As you are reading this and wow, Holy Spirit, show me what Ezekiel saw in the spirit. Remember, the word of God is not mere uh, ink or mere words on a paper. They are substance and they, they are your banquet table to activate, to encounter. Now the word of God, I, I tell you, it will be fun for you, <laughs> you know, because now you are open to so much potential activations you've never thought about maybe before. Okay, so if you want to cultivate the seer anointing, to see in the spirit, go and study where, where people saw things in the Bible. And you can put your life on the stake because it is of the authority of the word of God. Those vision, if you don't trust your vision, learn the genuine from the Bible. Like allow the vision of Ezekiel, for example, to be yours, own it. It's written for a reason, own it. Like, wow. The, the throne, Ezekiel says that it's like that. Wow, I see the blue. So let this be your pure vision. If you don't trust, I'm seeing from the Lord. Great. Go and train your spirit, man, in, in seeing visions, but from the Bible. And those visions are 100% visions from the throne, and you cannot doubt it. They are the pure vision of the Lord. Like now, you will release the pure word of the Lord. Other stuff are the pure vision of the Lord, etc. So I'm just giving you ideas to, to have fun with the Lord in your private time and, and to grow. And who knows, you can do Zoom class and get a download from the Lord and something, maybe it will be strange for me and tell me, Tony, uh, I have this, and and invite me and i join you and we'll be feeding each other's unique stuff that god is giving you and god is giving me and you know god will give each one something specific and unique that we can share with each with each other so who know you can do this in your home group and invite your church like today we will activate and it will be about that and just sit and follow me okay so uh, it's fun god is fun god is real Okay, so uh, we'll start with Quibi, Quizzy. You will, you will say the, the, the verse of the prophet you picked. You will say it as though you are under God's full pure authority and that you know what you are going to release. There is no error in it, okay? Go ahead, uh, unmute yourself. Um, if it's it's okay, don't uh, don't uh, turn your video because an activation is coming where I'll ask you to uh, um, open your video for a reason, but not this activation. But feel free if you want to 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 put your video on. It's about authority and boldness. We need to give everything. Like yeah, it's me, it's Tony. Humbly, it's me. Like see me. <laughs> okay, but we'll do this in another another step. Okay, go ahead, Quizzy. We're we're listening to you. Um, I selected Isaiah 45, verse 1 to 3. And that says the Lord. You are a chosen generation. No, no, no. D just a second. Don't read it like this. I want you to say it as though you are sent and that you're saying the pure of the word, the, the, the pure word of the Lord, there is no error. I don't want to inspire you how to say it, but say it as though you're unlocking authority. Like, hey, listen to me, man, not you. Like the person you're talking to. Thus says the Lord. 
Okay, I want you to unlock those elements. Okay, go ahead and say it again, please. All right, so isolated Isaiah 45 verse one to three. Thou seest the Lord. You are a chosen generation. As God goes before you today, every shut gate will be open and every rough side will be smoothing. That's what I heard. Wow, amazing. Beautiful. Thank you, Crazy. Thank you, Tony. How does it feel, Crazy? Wonderful. Okay. Awesome. 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 Okay. Thank you. We'll take now Amanda. Please uh, mute. Okay. Amanda, go for, for it. Okay. I have Isaiah 44 6. Okay, now read it before you activate it. Just let us know the verse. Read it before you activate it. Let us know what's the verse. Just read it ordinary as you're reading it. Don't activate now. I want you to see the difference. What's the difference between reading and activating? Just read us the verse now. Okay, so you just want me to read the verse? Just read, just it. read it. Yeah, and I'll tell you to activate it in a moment. I want you to see the difference between reading the verse because we will see the difference. Gotcha. So I'm going to read the one that you, how you sent it, and then we're going to read it the way later that we did. Gotcha. Okay. It was Isaiah 44, 6. Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts. I am the first and I am the last. Besides me, there is no God. Okay. This is the verse. Okay. Now, now you need to it's like an acting workshop almost. You need to feel like you are the prophet, the prophetess, like you are sent by the Lord. You have the prophetic authority, the full permission, heaven is sending you, and that when you want to release it, that there is no error. This is what I want your spirit man to experience. There is no error in what you're, uh, what you're saying. Because uh, again, the Lord knows the end from the beginning and he's taking you this place where you will be like those prophets. You know, I'm not saying you will be a prophet, but the experience, you'll be like Jesus. He knows he's sent by his father and he knows that he knows that what he's saying is what his father is, is telling him to say. Okay, so this is what we are training ourselves here. Go ahead, Amanda, the stage is yours. Okay. Okay. This is what the Lord says. I am the Lord all powerful, the first and the last, the one and only God. Israel, I have rescued you. I am your king. Come on. <laughs> oh my God. Woo. Oh my God. That's it. That's it. That's it. Woo. Did you feel the difference between reading it and just activating the elements? What, what contains? It's like the honey, the bees are sucking the honey from, from the flower or whatever. Okay, you're, you're taking the experience of that prophet, which contains authority and purity of the prophetic, and you're training yourself. And the more you do it, the more you, you learn the, um, the genuine. Like, yeah, this is what my, this is heavenly. This is it. And, and you will start hearing. Okay. Uh, Agua. This is how you say your name. Agua, yes. Okay, you're welcome. Please first read the verse uh, for okay. us and then activate. Okay, so I chose uh, Jeremiah 15, 19. Um, Therefore, this is what the Lord says. If you repent, I will restore you that you may serve me. If you utterly, if you utter worthy, not worthless words, you will be my spokesman. Let this people turn to you, but you must not turn to them. Okay, awesome. And feel free to read it in the version you prefer. But, uh, but now as you activate, again, I, I, I'm repeating because this is the core of the activation, the core of the class, why we're doing it. Okay, go ahead, Agua, and say it as though you are the prophetess sent by, by God. You have full, full, pure authority from Yahweh to be sent to that people or that person. And that what you are going to say from your spirit, man, is pure and there is no error in it. Okay, go ahead, please. 
Okay. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. If you repent, I will restore you that you may serve me. If you utter worthy, not worthless words, you will be my spokesman. Let this people turn to you, but you must not turn to them. Wow. Please say it again. Woo. Therefore, this is what the Lord says. If you repent, I will restore you, that you may serve me. If you utter worthy, not worthless words, you will be my spokesman. Let this people turn to you, but you must not turn to them. Wow. Can you, can you feel the difference, guys? Can you feel the difference? Wow. Okay, awesome. And by the way, you really connected with authority, Agua. You connected with authority. We felt that. And almost feels like like fainting and going back, <laughs> you know, like, oh, it's we are in the presence of the authoritative word of the Lord, like, oh my gosh. <laughs> you oh, know? Wow. Yeah, it's beautiful. Awesome. Okay, thank you, Agua. Christian. You're muted. You're muted. Okay, please go ahead. I got in. Yeah. Okay, got in. Read the verse and then do the activation. Just read okay. it, and activate. Yeah. Okay. Thus says the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have held, to subdue nations before him and lose the armor of kings, to open before him the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. I'll go before you and make the crooked places straight. I'll break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. I'll give you the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who called you by your name. Wow. I am the God of Israel. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. I feel like an explosion is coming through you, Christine, because those words are loaded with so much power, really. And uh, I will tell you something. In the Hebraic mindset, they, they believe that the word is the substance, that as they say the word, like mm -hmm. the substance is formed, okay? Just like God, you know, in Genesis, when he said, let there be light, it was not just a poetic prophetic, okay? It was the substance instantly. This is how they, they were uh, trained as... as and and as Jesus, Jesus also declared over himself, remember? Also, Jesus had a time where he declared the what they uh, and then the the people wanted to throw him off the cliff of the rock. I don't know which scripture that is. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. So, and for Ezekiel, when the Lord brought him to the valley of the dead bones, when the when Ezekiel prophesied, it was real time manifestations. Okay, uh -huh. so as prophets, it's more than than just release, releasing revelations. And wow, that was a good revelation. There is a there is a realm in the prophetic where it is substance. And we are being trained here that as you say it in authority, okay, and as, as the pure word of God, that you are creating that. You are creating it. So when Ezekiel said for the bones to, to come together, he heard the noise. And so anyway, uh, read now the verse or activate it where you feel you are the, the God who, that God sent you. <laughs> Okay, and that yeah. that this is the pure word of the Lord. Okay, there is no there is no error, Christine, in the prophetic <laughs> word you're going to give us tonight, for sure. For sure. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. To Cyrus, thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I have held. Say it again. Have... Say say it again. Say it okay. again. Okay. And okay. If, you, if you want to say. To you, anointed Cyrus, like you are okay. Cyrus. Okay. To you, anointed Cyrus, thus says the Lord, whose right hand I have held to subdue nations before you and to lose the armor of kings, to open before you the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. I will go before you and make the crooked places straight. I'll break in pieces the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron. I will give you the trace of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that I, the Lord, who called you by your name, I am the God of Israel. Awesome. Awesome. But there was an ups and downs. 
at some places I felt uh, uh, the, the real spirit of authority of Holy Spirit. Then it, it shifted to some reading. And then, so I want you now to restart that and be in the moment, really. Imagine that okay. you are standing before Cyrus and yeah. you, are, you are the prophet sent by Yahweh. And, and it's, very, it's a very serious moment for Cyrus. You are delivering the word of the God of heavens. Go ahead. Okay. okay, to you, Cyrus, you are the anointed of the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. He is holding you by your right hand to subdue nations before him, to lose the armor of kings, to open before him the double doors, to open before you the double doors so that the gates will not be shut. He will go before you and make the crooked places straight. He will break in pieces the gates of bronze and cut the bars of iron. He will give you the trees of darkness and hidden riches of secret places that you may know that he's the Lord who called you by your name. He's the Lord God of Israel. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Christine. And uh, feel free to practice also even more. And be, uh, please thank you for allowing me to mentor you and and let me speak like to you one on one and and help you like because it's a class. OK, we are here to learn. So, Christine, for me, it, in some places, it was great. Like even when you hear a, a, someone who is singing, you know, it, it's a show and that person is singing, the jury will tell him you started good, but someplace you were out of tune and all that. So thank you for allowing me to mm -hmm. to uh, to um, uh, to um, do an assessment, you know, quick assessment mm -hmm. for how was it for me? I yeah. sense somewhere, Christine, there is a shyness that, <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. that that is blocking the full release of yeah. God's authority and the purity. And, you know, shyness is good. And if it's balanced, it's so beautiful. But uh, we don't want to drain the, the power of Holy Spirit with our shyness. Shyness had, has its moments. But sometimes we need like, Lord, uh, I don't want anything in me to lessen your power. Mm -hmm. We want the fullness of God's authority and power. Okay, so in some places you started strong, but in some places shyness kicked in that I felt authority lessened, like it faded a little bit. But you were doing good, but thank you for allowing me to speak those notes you. that you can <laughs> yeah. work on you can work on and yeah. and, and, be, and improve okay gina okay. gina you are muted and you're raptured we cannot see you sorry okay i chose uh isaiah 43 1 and it says but now thus says the lord he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Okay. Okay. I love this verse. Actually, it's a proph prophetic prophecy for me when I came to the Lord years ago. So I love this verse. And I was going to activate one, uh, that one. Okay. Go ahead now, Gina, and, uh, okay. and oh. go for it. Keep in mind the authority and that, that what you're saying is so pure. There is zero error in your prophetic word, Gina. Zero error. This is the word of the Lord. Okay. Let your spirit man drink of the reality and the genuine encounter of the, those realms. Go ahead, please. But now thus says the Lord, he who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not. For I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. Mm, amen. That's good. That's good. Wow. Thank you. That's good. I'll say I'll say mine since it's the same. But then I will hear from Diana. Okay. But now thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel. Fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name. Thou art mine. Amen. Diana, go ahead. 
I have the same verse as Christine's. Do you want me to read it twice or just uh, one? Yes, yes, because I want your spirit man to feel the difference, like the reading okay. and, and when you, you do the faith release, because it's always about faith. So go ahead. Right. And this is what the Lord, with, uh, Isaiah 45, 1 to 3. This is what the Lord says to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I take hold of, to subdue nations before him and to strip kings of their armor, to open doors before him so that gates will not be shut. Wow, this is powerful. I will, go, I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret places so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel who summons you by name. You know, just by itself, the, the content of the prophecy is so powerful just by itself. You know, I heard one day from prophet, prophetess uh, Stacy Campbell. I, I did many, many training with her. She said something that, oh, my God, changed my life. She said, not to me personally in the class. She said, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes we discourage passion. We discourage passion. You know, like, wow, okay, ooh, that's that. Because I, I, I am calm in my character, you know, and that hit the mark. Like, sometimes I'm not telling you to change your character, okay? I'm just, because if you can be zealous about a soccer game or a match or a performance, like, come on, you are under prophetic authority being given the pure word of the Lord and you're just, okay, the Lord tells you and you're cold. <laughs> There is something wrong, you know. This is the ultimate experience that everyone is groaning to be under, you know. So uh, sometimes we discourage passion. Like we uh, misrepresent the authority of the king of kings by our, by our uh, low quality trumpets, <laughs> you know, when the king is, is, is entering, you know. I mean, everything must be perfect. The instrument, the trumpets, like you cannot, um, you cannot discourage his, his majestic presence. Everything must be to the level of his majesty and authority and his name. So even our voices, how we trumpet the prophetic voice, how we present it must align. We cannot misrepresent his king kingship you know so that's why we need to do a little bit on of, of an effort oh and show thrill and enthusiasm you know so that's that's what i'm trying to do here okay go ahead diana <clears throat> okay this is what the lord says to his anointed to Cyrus, whose right hand I take hold of, to subdue nations before him, and to strip kings of their armor, to open doors before him so that gates will not be shut. I will go before you and will level the mountains. I will break down gates of bronze and cut through bars of iron. I will give you hidden treasures, riches stored in secret, in secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord, the God of Israel, who summons you by name. Wow. Wow, that was beautiful. And Diana, I feel as you release God's words for others, you will release the fear of the Lord in them. You will release the spirit of the fear of the Lord as you, um, as you say, it, say what, whatever the Lord sends you to say. The fear of God will be so so there. You know, others will re re release maybe the spirit of revelation, of wisdom and insights or knowledge. But for others, like they will release another encounter. Okay, so I feel like the fear of God will be really released through you as you say what God is putting on your heart for for people. Okay, we still have Crystal, and if someone else didn't activate and wants to activate, please. Raise your hand because we, are, we still have two activations and I don't want to take much time. Okay, good. So let me see your hands to know how to pick you. Crystal, please read the verse you picked and then do the activation. <coughs> Hi, so I didn't get that email that you sent out, but I asked Holy Spirit for a raise and he gave me Isaiah 43, one to three. 
Awesome. Is that okay if I read yeah, them? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Sure. Okay. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Awesome. This is the word. Now activate it. That you are sent by the Lord, your authority, yeah. pure, pure prophetic word. Okay. Do not fear, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name, and you are mine. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned, and the flame shall not consume you. Wow. <laughs> Woo. My spirit man was so encouraged. Like I feel secure yeah. because, because I heard you now, Crystal. I feel like yeah. it's well with my soul, really. <laughs> Just because I heard that verse this way, I feel, wow. It ministered to me. That's awesome. Thank you, Crystal. Woo. <laughs> Janelle? Hi, so I chose from your listing 2 Kings 2, 21. Thus saith the Lord, I have healed these waters. They shall not be from thence any more debt or barren land. Okay, great. So now uh, activate it as I, I told everyone. Thus saith the Lord. I have healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more debt or barren land. Amen. 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 Thank you. Okay, now we will end with Ariel. So I chose the, the, the popular one of the night, Isaiah 45, 1 through 3. Okay. Uh, the Lord says this to Cyrus, his anointed, whose right hand I have grasped to subdue nations before him and disarm kings, to open doors before him, and even city gates will not be shut. I will go before you and level the uneven places. I will shatter the bronze doors and cut the iron bars in two. I will give you the treasures of darkness and riches from secret places, so that you may know that I am the Lord. I am God of Israel, who calls you by your name. Amazing. Okay, Ariel, now activate it. And I feel like you are creative as well. Maybe you enjoy the creative. So uh, uh, go ahead and, and be in the moment. Like you are there as a prophetess sent by Yahweh. And what you're going to say, no one can doubt it. It's zero, it's, there, there is zero error in it. Okay, the pure, the, your spirit man is 100% uh, uh, correct in what you are going to say, okay? In the prophetic authority and the prophetic word. So feel that and connect to it. Go ahead, please. The Lord says this to Cyrus, his anointed, whose right hand I have grasped to subdue nations before him and disarm kings to open doors before him and even city gates will not be shut. I will go before you and level the uneven places. I will shatter the bronze doors and cut the iron bars in two. I will give you the treasures of darkness and riches from secret places so that you may know that I am the Lord. I am the God of Israel who calls you by your name. Wow, wow, amen, wow. Uh, Ariel, I believe you are a fiery preacher and uh, I don't know how old you are, but I pray that you grow in, in God's full destiny for your life and that you will be unlocked as a fiery preacher that will make the earth shake and tremble. Continue to grow with, with Jesus, okay? Amen, thank you. Okay, that was the awesome activation we have. Now we will move to a high level activation. Now you will be prophesying Presidents of Nations. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I sent you the list of countries, all the countries of the world. 
uh, and I ask you, <laughs> I ask you to uh, allow Holy Spirit to highlight a country for you. Okay, so I believe that everyone has uh, the name of the country highlighted by the Spirit. Now I will put some soaking music. Uh, we will not take a lot. That country, and I believe you googled the name of the president of that country, so you know the name of your country that Yahweh is sending you to in the spirit, and you know the name of the president because when you know when you go to prophesy to uh, people of influence, you need to do a little bit of research about them, like their position, uh, uh, their name at least, not that you want to use the details about them so you can form your prophetic words. This is cheating, I believe, okay? No, just knowing them, I mean, as a respect, okay? So you know the country, you know the name of the president. Now what you're going to do is this. Take a little bit of time now, and I believe you have your paper and your pen, and I want you to get the word of the Lord of that president, <laughs> but not focus much on the word itself, the the prophetic word. I want you to, like an acting class here, okay? But it's not because it's a faith class. Now that you are with your pen and paper, be under this activation that we already do now, we already did, okay? And feel that, wow, Yahweh is sending me to this country. I have the, the pure prophetic authority and the Lord will give me now the the word of the Lord, it could be anything, you know, any verse that comes to your mind. So don't focus much on what you want to say. Focus on the experience on, and write something. And for those who already flow in the prophetic, not paragraphs, please. Okay, I mean, chapters, <laughs> we don't have much time, but like short notes. And then I want you to raise your hand after this five minutes soaking music and you will raise your hand and you will be as though you are in this country with in front of this president and you are saying to him with this word, okay? And uh, okay, okay. So this is what you're going to do. Uh, if it's not clear, ask me, but I believe it is clear. I'll put the soaking music and then you will release your word to that president of this nation, but not as though you are with him, okay? You're delivering it to that president, okay? And who knows, this game or this activation, the Lord may take it and in the spirit will bless that president. So who knows, <laughs> okay? But now let's focus on this and I'll put some worship.
All right, time's up. <laughs> okay. Uh, what you are going to do now, if you are ready, please raise your hand. You will say on video uh, what country the Holy Spirit highlighted to you. Then you will tell us the name of the president. And then uh, what you're going to, uh, to, uh, to do is you imagine yourself in front of this president, okay? Which by itself, it's really a unique moment. So much respect and honor and trembling. It's not an, an ordinary person, okay? So allow those feelings to be, to be there. Like I'm, I'm in honor, I'm standing before you as a king, you as a king, I mean the president. And don't say the prophetic word about him. Say it to him as though you are standing before him. So I don't want, uh, I don't know how you are going to approach him. I will let the creative side of Holy Spirit kick in you. And maybe, but, but please, one thing I want you to take into consideration, make this president feel the authority of the word of the Lord. So don't approach him as, Hey, Mr. President, uh, I guess I sense the Holy Spirit is saying to me this about you. Don't do this, please. <laughs> you need to convince this president and not convince with mind play by, by releasing the true authority, the spirit of authority, okay? And so say it to him, not to you, and, and make sure that you're not screaming at the president or talking uh, over you know over him like never let your speech like be over a king you can be still be in authority but not vi vi uh, be in violence against him so you, you there is an etiquette you know for the prophetic so you, you are in respect you're addressing him you know god is sending you no intimidation okay and uh, just say it mr president uh, if you want to add more creative stuff my name is because you want to introduce yourself. My name is, you give your full name and he already knows your name because uh, uh, he made an appointment with you and he knows everything about you anyway. <laughs> you know, because when you, uh, you took that appointment with him, the CIA and the, uh, the FBI and every, everyone uh, studied you and you're not a threat to him. So anyway, but as respect, tell him that this is my name and I, I'm praying for you. The Holy Spirit sent me. Okay, and I believe, not I believe, the Lord says to you, we're practicing authority, okay, as you are a high level prophet standing before that, that king, okay, so uh, I think the activation is clear, uh, Gina, we start with you, let us know the, the name of the country, the president, and then do your faith class, not the acting class. Well, I, the Lord gave me the country of India. This is a country that I've had a burden and the Lord has put in my heart for quite some time. Okay. And uh, somehow or another, I know that I have something to do with that country in the future. Okay. Um, the name of the president is Ram Nath Kovin. And, okay. uh, and I really believe the Lord gave me this word. So I don't know if I will do it justice as far as all the uh, pre- humble words like who I am but I will say the what the Lord gave me thus is the Lord can, can you can, can you put yourself on video or it's private you're busy um it's okay it, it, it distracts me because um what I will try I okay. I just it's hard for me to do both and no so um, no okay. but I will try uh, Thus says the Lord to you, Ram Nath Kovin, I am the Lord Almighty. Besides me, there is no other. Let my people go that they may worship me. And I really feel this is a word of the Lord for him in the spirit, either whether he realizes or not. But there's our um, beaten and, and mistreated badly for their, um, especially uh, Christians, especially are very, very much abused and not allowed to worship really. And I wow. really believe this is the will of God. Yes, and I felt the authority of what you said and uh, amen.
that's beautiful okay christine and so it's a class feel free like if you want to put your input your creative side like you're visualizing the president and you want to introduce yourself and if you don't want to do all these elements that's okay you can jump in directly and and say i'm helping you okay so <laughs> I just jump in. Okay. Um, okay, mine is President Zelensky, the president of Ukraine. And I have been interceding for that nation for almost uh, six months now. But this is what um, uh, um, Miss, Mr. President Zelensky, this is the word of the Lord to you. You shall live and not die. Out of the ashes, something beautiful shall arise. Your future is bright, it is beautiful, and I, the Lord, will get you there. I shall restore your land to you, and you shall dwell in it peaceably. The sons of wickedness will harass your people no more. There shall be singing, dancing, and laughter once again on the streets of Ukraine. Only turn holy to me, only keep your eyes on me. I will guide you into peace and prosperity. Amen. Amen. That's a beautiful word, Christine. I just didn't feel the authority release behind it. But it is a pure word of the Lord. It's so beautiful. I just, as a president, like, like I didn't, uh, like, oh, wow. Okay, just the authority. You need to inject more, more authority. Because remember, all this class is about two realms. Prophetic authority first, and then the prophetic word of God. If the prophetic authority is not the cornerstone of your prophetic word, okay? So, but it is a, a pure word, so beautiful, but just do, you can practice later after the Zoom, imagine yourself before him and unlock any hindrance or shyness, whatever it is, but put authority with those pure words okay so the the pure word you have it you need to just release more authority behind it okay let this be the cornerstone thank you christine that's good okay we'll do a uh, quizy and those who are ready okay. please start raising your hands if you want, if you want to engage in this activation okay quizy go ahead um, I'm reading from Jeremiah chapter 22, verse 1 to 4. Uh, yeah, but what, what's the uh, country? To, to, what's the country uh, and the name of the country? country? Russia, Russia, uh, Vladimir Putin. Okay. Okay. okay so yeah. I, I believe you, the Lord gave you the word. Now imagine you are with Putin, okay, or Putin, however you say it, and, and, and approach him, okay, and say, the word with authority and that you believe it is from the Lord. Don't feel the president. Okay. Don't feel, don't let him feel you're shaky or no. Release authority and purity. Go ahead. Okay. That word. Mr. President. Your word. Mr. President. Uh, okay. <laughs> Mr. President, the word of the Lord came to me. Now go to the office of the president of Russia. Um, let me let me take it again. Okay. Mr. President, the word of the Lord came to me that I go down to the office of the president of Russia and prophesy this message there. Hear the word of the Lord. Mr. Putin, you and your officers and your people who come down from these gates? Listen, this is what the Lord says. Do what is fair and right. Save the one who has been robbed from the power of his attackers. Don't mistreat or hurt the foreigners, orphans or widows. Don't kill innocent people here. This is the word of the Lord. Amen. Thank you. That's Amen. good. Amen. We'll do uh, Diana. Um, so my country is Australia. And uh, the name of the prime minister is Anthony Albanese. Or okay. Albanese. Okay, prophetess Diana. You have an appointment now with 
Anthony, the president of Australia. We don't have much time, please. You need to stand before him. I'm his assistant, by the way. You need to stand before <laughs> him, deliver the word, and we and leave. And thank you for your visit. Go ahead. Mr. Prime Minister, this is the word of the Lord. It is an invitation to you. And the word is this. Come on home. Home Diana, to me. Diana, yes. Can you stop for a minute? Can I see your body yes, language yes. as well align? Can I see your body language? I know you're oh. hoping maybe the cam, but at least open up a little bit and don't put your hand on, uh, on your face. Sorry for, <laughs> being, sorry for being real with you, but I'm training you, okay? Uh, try to, <laughs> even, even in your posture, we release authority in the spirit, the soul, and the body realm. Not that we are um, taking space and we are, we don't want to intimidate others with our, with our body language, but at least to be open and we show authority that we are an ambassador of, of heaven, of Yahweh. I'm sent for you, Mr. President, to serve you, not to be over you. And we love you. And this is what the, the Holy Spirit is saying. Thank you for listening, Mr. President. You see how you can, with authority, catch his attention? Even like, thank you for listening, Mr. President, for what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. So I'm just giving you ideas, okay? Go ahead, Diana. Now the president can welcome you in. So you want me to start over again? Or can yeah. I just release the word? No, no. Imagine you are okay. with the president and, okay, go ahead. Okay, so I'll read the word. Come on home, home to me. And I will hold you in my arms and joyful be. There will always, always be a place for you at my table. Return to me. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Okay. Mr. President will, will maybe will call you later because he loved your word. And thank you for your visit, Prophetess Diana. <laughs> okay, now let's take uh, Crystal, please. Hi, so um, I felt drawn to pick my home nation, Trinidad, and because the Lord had given me some dreams for president, not president, but prime minister Raul. Is it possible um, to see you to release more boldness or if, <laughs> if, you're, if it's private? Um, okay. Yeah, not. Where I'm at is a bit private. Okay. Mr. Prime Minister Rowley, if you'd allow me to approach you, I have a word to deliver from the Lord. Please, Crystal, uh, mm -hmm. uh, did you write your word on a paper? No, I got this um, just now. I didn't get the email priors to really sit no, down no, to write down the that's okay but i want you to write the word because in uh, okay. because now i know that you're praying in tongues to get a word please w mm -hmm. get the word write a short one now on the paper and come back yes okay. I will, yeah because in in uh, when you are in with the presidents you just speak in in, in the understanding no tongues yeah. so yeah raise your hand when you're ready please now we okay. will take uh, uh ariel please So I picked the country of Azerbaijan. Okay. I don't know if I'm saying that right because I actually don't know anything about this country. I just felt drawn to it. Okay. And the president's name is Ilham Aliyev. Okay. Okay. So Mr. Aliyev, I have been praying for your country and I asked the Lord, Lord, what do you want me to deliver? And as I sat there, I had this feeling of peace wash over me. And I heard airplanes flying above. I was not in the airplane, it was airplanes above and you can hear as they approach and as they're right over and then as they fly away. And so this is what the Lord has for you. Thus saith the Lord, though mighty airplanes fly above, fear not, have peace. Thank you. Wow, 
Okay. Thank you, Anna. We protect them. We bless this country. Don't know what's going there, but uh, we, we ask the Lord to protect them. In Jesus' name. Okay, uh, Amanda. Okay. Um, I. Do you like this activation so far? Oh, I love it. This is amazing. I, I, I love it. This is great. Um, I, the Lord highlighted the country Botswana to me. And the president there is, uh, forgive me, but I'm going to try. Um, Makguitsi Masisi. Okay. And when you go personally to him, ask someone outside like how do you say his name yeah. <laughs> you, don't, you, will, you don't want to miss uh, say his name or he will shut down he will not listen <laughs> okay okay um well hello president masisi thank you for seeing me today as i am just so honored to bring a word of the lord to you hear the word of the lord this day botswana my pearl of great price, my treasure hidden within the vastness of the earth. It is your time to arise and shine as the world shall see the love and favor I have for you. I will burst forth from within the midst of you, from the very epicenter heart of your nation, which I have kept beating by my hand since the beginning of time. You will experience my glory, my protection, my favor, my all, as I have called you for such a time as this, Botswana. Uh, King, uh, oh, sorry, President Masisi. I have called you to navigate my people through this shaking of your country coming by my mighty hand to expose and bring forth my kingdom purpose for Botswana and for my church. I am calling you, son. Repent, turn to me, and arise as King Masisi, as I have appointed you to be. Amen. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Crystal, are you ready or we take Agua? Agua, could go ahead. Okay, Agua, please. Yes, um, so I chose the country of Benin okay. um, and the, pres the president of Benin is Patrice Talon. Okay. Um, okay. Remember, remember to release authority and the purity of the prophetic because this is the class. This is what we are training ourselves here, okay? Okay. Hello, Patrice uh, Talon. Thus says the Lord, remain in me and I in you. As this nation turns from its ways, then I will pour out my spirit on this nation. Turn from your wickedness before it is too late, before it's too late for you to reach me. You are my beloved people, but you have chosen a wayward path. Thus says the Lord. Wow. Amen. Amen. Thank you. And you need to pray favor also over you when you go deliver such a word. <laughs> so, right. <laughs> they may, they may, they, so they may receive it. Okay. Uh, we'll take Crystal. We will end with the Crystal and then we'll have a final thing to do. Hi. So as I mentioned before, I chose the nation of Trinidad and Tobago and I'm addressing Prime Minister Rowley. Uh, Minister Rowley, I have a word from the Lord, and I trust that you will hearken to the warning. The Holy Spirit says that you have grieved him. You have filled your pockets with wealth of the land. The people, the citizens are missing a father's protection and covering. He has appointed you as a representative father over his people. Turn your heart back to me, says the Lord. Surrender the leadership to my throne, and I will turn the state of affairs around in this nation. Trinidad is not your personal bank. Each transaction and each withdrawal you make on account of your own agendas will be recorded. Exposure will come swiftly without repentance from a humble heart. Wow. That was big. <laughs> okay, wow. Okay, Janelle. 
Thank you, Krista. Amen. Janelle, you were raising your hand. Okay, a mistake. Oh, sorry, I thought I was on mute. <laughs> I, I was so muted, sorry. No problem. Yes. Go. Okay, I heard Barbados and the president is Sandra Mason. Okay. I think it's your excellency. <laughs> I'm not sure how they address formally, but um, Sandra Mason, the word of the Lord to you. I have set you as the head over my nation. No longer shall you worship the world or the things therein. Rule from my throne, not from your thirst for power. Do not lose yourself in politics. Lose yourself in my presence and you'll find yourself again in me. You are made to be the light in the midst of the darkness. You are a woman of gentleness. Do not look to your cabinet for a final word. Seek me. I am the final word, says the Lord. My counsel is wise and it is good and perfect. Wow. Amen. Amen. That's a good word, Janelle. Amen. Okay. And so keep in mind that you feel authority and you release the pure word of God, this is what, what we're doing here. Okay, I think I will do one. I, I didn't want to do one, but it will be short. I'll do for my for my president. I didn't cho choose any country. I didn't want to engage with this activation. I want to give you um, the, the space here. <laughs> so I'll do for my president uh, in Lebanon, Michel Aoun. But uh, meanwhile, while I'll do this and get the word, uh, please, we will end with this. Those who didn't engage in those activations, the, the final one is for you. So I will, I will uh, name you with boldness, no intimidation. This is a class, a, a teacher can call the name of a, stu of a student. So I have full authority in my class. So Eva Marie and Martina, um, okay, you will, and Nefila, okay, you didn't uh, engage with previous activations. What you're going to do is ask Holy Spirit to, not now, but while I'm, I do my activation, ask him to highlight someone here in the class, okay, for you, just one person. And, and what you're going to do, because this activation is based on authority, based on authority and the pure word of God, you will, be on camera because you want to unlock everything about authority. You have to put on the camera and you will address this person and I want you to be wild and creative, okay? The last step is really wild, okay? I want you to exaggerate authority, like, and we're playing, we're friends here, we're brothers and sisters, so we will not laugh. What we're trying to do is reach the high notes in the private places, like the singers, so it will be, it will be weird like and we, you know so we're we're doing things so our two hours performance in the stage before millions of people okay will be awesome so yes we will be creative here what will, you're going to do is the one highlighted to you will tell him this my name is let's say eva marie I am a prophetess of the lord i want you to inject boldness to release boldness to unlock it very wild and this is not pride we're just em emphasizing authority. Okay, the Lord sent me for you and I have his pure word. I want you to use every word and every attitude to unlock every authority in you. And even the way you're going to say your prophetic word will be with so much authority to your sister or your brother here. Okay, and you will tell him, this is what God says, what God even say almighty, just exaggerate. God Almighty, the God of the heavens and universe. And if you want to scream or be violent, okay, just be wild in this step, okay? And if someone else really want to engage in this because you love that, that one, I will allow not many of previous students, but this is for those who didn't activate yet because we don't have much time. So pre uh, uh, now prepare, okay? Eva, Janelle, and Martina. And now I'll do my activation for uh, the president of Lebanon, Michel Aoun. Lord, give me some love for him. 
and honor. <laughs> Amen. Increase me. I do have some, but I need it to be increased. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I believe I have something for him. Uh, I'll say it in Arabic because I am an Arabic speaking person. Then I'll say it in English. Okay. Sayyid al Rais Michel Aoun, Rabbatna al Amdak, Ubelak Aid al Kalimat, Ja and Toro Akaradia, U Kassir Kil al Ahud, Yel Yamilta, Mazulme. باسم يسوع المسيح. Amen. شكرا. Okay, I'll say it in English now. Mr. President Michel Aoun, this is what the Lord is saying to you. Return from your wicked ways and break the covenant you did with evil people. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Okay, so that's that was my part. Okay, now we will end with the last uh, step. Martina, Eva, Janelle, not Janelle. Nithila, if you're ready, raise your hand. I think Nithila unmuted herself. Please be on video and choose one who is highlighted to you. And be wild. Ah. <laughs> uh. I, I really don't know for whom this word is. Okay. First, I thought of Gina because she uh, prophesies for India. But uh, this is what uh, uh, God says, I will restore double to you. Awesome. Can you say it like you are really... Full of authority because yeah, you are. Yeah. Say, say it. The creator say Gina, it. You will, you will uh, give her the feedback just in a, in a moment. Okay, Nithila, this is a very good word. And I witnessed that it is from the Lord and it's powerful. But release it over Gina in authority. Like, Gina, <laughs> this is what the Holy yeah. Spirit is saying to you. Okay, I will restore double portion for you. Like go wild, go crazy. Okay, and release okay. authority for her. Gina, this is the word from Holy Spirit for you. I will restore the double to you, double portion on you. Amen. Yeah, can you feel, can you feel like the difference? Can you feel the oh, difference? Yeah. yeah. Now you release the substance. The blessing landed on Gina now. Because it's by faith. Awesome. Thank you, Nitila. That was good. Thank you, Nitila. I received that. I felt from the Lord. God is giving you nations as you are the interceder. He's also giving you opportunities for the nations. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So, I got goosebumps. <laughs> awesome. So, Martina or Eva, who's ready? Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? <laughs> All right. Be good. This word is for Agua. Okay. Agua, this word so, is for you. Oh, yes. hi. All right. So, Agua, I come in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of Lord and the King of Kings. And he says to you, the waters are turning. The waters are turning. So it's time to get into the pool. There's healing in the waters. You need to step into the pool. Right now, it is the time that the angels are, are descending and stirring up the waters. So you need to step in to that water because right now it is a time where you can get your healing and it's not just about physical healing but it's about emotional healing about making you whole so i said jump into the water 
Mm. and receive your healing in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you so much. I receive it. I receive it. Thank you. Amen. Amen. The, the, the word is Amen. beautiful and powerful, but I felt the authority when you, when you commanded that. When you told Agua, jump into the water, I felt the release of the authority. So, uh, you know, uh, follow Holy Spirit. The, 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 the uh, point here is we want to release re real substance, the authority. So follow Holy Spirit. Sometimes he will tell you to use this word and not this. We don't want to lessen the power of God and the beauty and the, the love, okay? So... If, if the Lord is, is telling you to command a prophetic word, command it, don't say it, because you will release mm. power. Yeah, so you see the difference? But if you feel like, no, I just want to say the word. But if you feel mm -hmm. like commanding the word, oh, do it. Just follow Holy Spirit. Thank you, Amen. Martin. That was good. Amanda, do you want to say something? Ah, okay, you, you, it looks like you're sitting on the edge of your seat and you're excited. And was, say something. I'm excited. I was just praying in the spirit and just okay. standing in the faces. I'm just praying. Okay, okay. So we end with uh, Eva. And just one of you, if you want to do this crazy final step from you, the old, the old students. <laughs> okay, Amanda wants to do it. And remember that we are in a class. We are brothers and sisters, and I did actually many acting workshops in my life. I was not the Tony that you will see on the, on the in those workshops. Like, oh my God, it unlocked my character. I did crazy stuff in screaming and crying and doing it. It's beautiful. It was beautiful. I, I'm not here selling any acting workshops, but the, what I'm trying to say is in this faith class, really do what I'm telling you, like be unlock the fullness, fullness of authority. Like if you want to stand or just open up and look to the person and tell him, my name is Amanda Hernandez. I'm from Pennsylvania. I've been prophesying for people for years. I uh, introduce yourself, release authority I, as, as much as you can be creative in some moments, some minutes and release the prophetic word of the Lord for that person. So, enjoy the class really if you want to do it later and on the replays maybe you can practice when i send you the replay maybe you'll feel uh, comfortable more to redo the, the activations we will end with eva marie please uh, choose someone the holy spirit highlighted to you be on camera please if you can this is this is important and uh, thank you Can you hear me, Eva? Okay, Eva. My, my. Last time, last time she was here, I think she mentioned like she didn't want to talk because her little one was sleeping. Yeah, maybe, maybe, she, maybe she has. The it could be late in the UK. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She can write, she can type, I can't engage. Anyway, maybe she's not here. But anyway, uh, Amanda, we will end with you. Choose someone from, from us and be creative. Okay. You Holy Spirit, all right. Um, I just really just felt the Lord highlight uh, Kwesi. Aban to me yeah. and hi Kwesi Tony did did an intro for me but I am Amanda and I am from Pennsylvania and I've been prophesying for I guess for as long as I've known Tony Francis <laughs> I don't even know how long that's been anymore but uh, boy oh boy um, when the Lord showed you to me I just saw you my brother standing on a stage and Kwesi Thus says the Lord, get up my son and dance. And I saw you with these tap shoes on and jazz shoes on and many forms of footwear on your feet on this grand stage. And you were dancing. You were dancing, dancing, dancing like lives dependent, 
depended on it, brother. And the Lord says, dance, dance, dance. And as you dance, I see fire coming from your shoes. As you dance, 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 I see your hands waving and I see glory and gold falling from your hands. And as you dance, 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 son, as you dance, 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 son, before me, son, I see pillars shaking and falling just as Samson knocked over the pillars under the Philistines to destroy them. You're dance, dance, dance. And you releasing his fire and his glory on this stage is going to destroy the works of the enemy. Where you are, son, where you are, that is where I've called you to dance. So I release you, my brother, by the authority of the Lord who sent me before you this day to go and dance. Come on. Ah, ah, that was awesome. <laughs> Can you feel the unlocking? Can you feel the unlocking? Yeah, yeah, that was great. <laughs> wow. Wow, I think Amanda, you taught us all a lesson. We're not intimidated, but you taught us a lesson at the end of this class. We all felt that. We all were being filled by the spirit by listening to it. We felt the witness of what you were saying to Quizzy, even if he didn't say his feedback. I know it is the word of God. We know it was true. Your authority convinced us. The, 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 there was the word of the Lord and your attitude, your openness, your hands, it all brought heaven to earth. And that was powerful. And I believe it will life change uh, Quizzy. It will change his life. Amen. That was awesome. Okay, so I will end it here. Thank you for coming. I hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, and uh, we'll see you soon. I don't know when... The Holy Spirit will give me another download. And, and please feel free. You do your own Zoom class. You create it. You can teach. Uh, invite us. <laughs> you know, And uh, I know you can do it. OK? Uh, so be blessed. And we'll see you next time. OK? Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome.